from being obviously you know steaming unshowered angry sad pretty lonely nothing makes you feel lonelier than being literally pushed out forbidden you know it's just like it's the 21st century and stuff like this should not be happening anywhere on the planet and anywhere else you go and do anything like this you will get hammered by the people why is this happening in japan do i look like i'm gonna bring massive amounts of chaos into your gym again just ready to go to the gym one does not merely go to the gym in Japan when one has tattoos um, I've seen many many questions uh, concerning this matter and I've decided to answer them I go to the gym in Japan nearly every day so um, every single day there's the terror that somebody might approach me while I'm pumping iron and going at it strong and you know you're you're hyped you're anybody watching this goes to the gym you know you don't like to be interrupted when you're working out but the Japanese trainers and the people working in my gold's gym Japan just think that it's okay to just approach me and tap me on the shoulder while I'm working really hard and tell me to cover my skin essentially Seriously, do I look like I'm part of the local mafia? They do so because they believe that everybody that has a tattoo, a cat tattoo, and a crown tattoo with a little horse in it, in my case, uh, is definitely either an ex-convict or part of the local mafia. Lads, I can't even speak Japanese. Seriously, the local mafia wouldn't recruit me. A forbidden selfie, which, yeah, that's another story. You can't really take photos of yourself or film yourself. So being a blogger in Japan, a fitness blogger, like is forget it, forget just 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 forget it, or just keep breaking the rules. <laughs> you know, it's one or the other. Like, what are you gonna do anyway? So the fact that I have these tattoos make my life hell because I go to the gym every day, nearly every day. Maybe I take one day off a week, so like that's one day I don't have to worry. I actually have a whole heap of stuff at home to do my home workout. I just hate going to the gym and getting hassled all the time, to be honest with you. Uh, now, the alternative to getting hassled for your tattoos is covering up, so this is summer. Yeah, it's summer for me too, not just for all the people that don't have tattoos and they can wear this to the gym. Uh, so I wear this to the gym, but I have to also apply my tattoo patches. Oh, isn't this amazing? These not only cost a bit, 
but you have to buy them online, wait for them, they're not easy to purchase, like you don't just go down the road or to the gym that so hates tattoos and they go like, hey, we happen to have some tattoo patches here for you, if you'd like to cover up for your convenience, because we know you're not a local, so you might not be part of the local mafia. <laughs> So we've made it really easy and thought of you guys, so we have these tattoo patches handy for you to buy and just apply, slap some water onto it and be done with it. Guess what? You put these babies on, they last for about two days, but they start to ripple. And when they start to ripple, your skin looks like you're diseased. So it doesn't, it does not look nice. It does not feel nice. It does not look nice. It's not nice. And to apply them, I need the help of someone, you know, and someone is not always around, like now. So what am I gonna do? I need to put on a turtleneck, because my tattoo is here. I need to go with a turtleneck to the gym in summer, 25 degree temperature, outside. Sweat bollocks, right? Sweat my bollocks off, wearing the turtleneck, while everybody else wears this. Just because me and my husband decided to get matching tattoos as a symbol of our undying love for one another. Like, it's just mind-blowing and baffling that in the 21st century you can be told there's a place on this planet where you're told to cover up your skin. And that is fine. Like, if you go to anybody else and in any other context, in any other country, and tell them to cover up their skin, you are gonna get you're getting hammered. But no, in Japan it is okay to make people feel like dogs be hurt because they have little pictures of stuff on their skin. And you have to make them spend extra money on stuff like this and like extra time finding it online, waiting for it, putting it on, putting it on, taking it off. It just, it just feels like, I've cried about this in the beginning. I have cried, I've been upset. You know, and I'm still upset to this day that I just can't be a normal person going to the gym. It's taken away so much. And this is not the only thing, okay? You go to the gym here, you can't take photos. Good luck to you. Uh, you can't speak on the phone in the gym. So what's, what's the crack with that? Seriously. Like, other people can talk amongst themselves. People can grunt, right? Lifting weights, no problem. Aerobic studios. They sound like they're giving birth in there, but that's no problem. Ah! Woo! Ah! Woo! Ah! One! Two! Ah! Ah! Labor pains all the way, no problem. But me talking to the phone with a person that's not even here to pollute... phonically your environment. So the other person on the line is somewhere away. They're not here. They cannot make any noise. They will not hinder your... Winky, because that's how they call the ambience here. You know, the dead the elevator ambience. Cannot disturb your Winky. My mother on the phone cannot disturb your Winky. But I cannot speak to her because I asked this question once and I got like a row of people. They keep like grabbing other people and they were like, Oh, 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 oh. Uh, and they were talking amongst one another and whatever and like all these I had like five people next to my bike the first time I was told I can't speak on the phone these five people lined up okay all talking amongst themselves in Japanese and then they all came up with the line because this is Japan yes. well so <laughs> there's a whole bunch of heap of stuff that you can't do at the gym including wearing your you know these health trackers that have been like developed you to swim with them by very smart people right in the lab and you're definitely not going to die using this because it is especially made for swimming Yay! yeah uh, basically if you wear this in the pool in a public pool around Japan um, they're gonna tell you to take it off because it's very dangerous very dangerous apparently Fantastic. Uh, so yeah, that's that. And then there was this other incident at one of my gyms before when they had like a studio. They had an Arabic studio where people were exhibiting labor pains, but I can't speak on the phone. Yeah, that one. Um, 
And when it was empty, obviously I was like, I don't really go to the aerobic classes. So I was like, can I use the studio when it's empty and nobody's in it so I can do my weights away from the public eye where everybody just stares at me and my tattoos, my evil tattoos. Um, and they were like, no. Nah. I was like, okay, so the studio's empty. The studio's there. I'm a member of this gym. I'm paying my membership. Um, why I can't go inside and do some weights? Nine. Okay. <laughs> okay. And when I actually lost it, there's this one time that I lost it to an old lady. Saw so you being constantly harassed. Well, guess what? <laughs> Sometimes people explode. So I was on my phone in the locker room. Right, I was just like scrolling through my stinky self because I can't shower at the gym. Yeah, you get tattoos, you don't have to wash yourself. Like in Japan, you don't have the right to wash yourself in public places because you have tattoos. Anyway, uh, so I was on my phone scrolling in that and um, this lady comes up to me and she's like, pushes my phone down. Nashi! I will not reproduce what I said to her. I will not because I actually like you guys. But, hell, if she could have understood what I said to her, she would have been very upset. If you filmed them, <laughs> things might happen. Okay, and now this is like cherry on top of the cake. The most annoying thing that has ever happened to me in Japan because of my tattoos. I was not allowed to freaking shower at the gym. So there was this gym in Japan. Pardon my French. Uh, basically, very far away from any civilization, like in this remote, secluded location. Where I tried, I showered once, uh, the first time I went, and um, the apocalypse came. People complaining, ringing up my company talking to the people in my company saying that somebody has been there for three hours three hours complaining what was that tattoo chick doing in the gym and more so what was she doing bathing in our showers boom i was like nah so i won't be allowed to shower at the gym after i finished my sweaty two hour minimum workouts it was winter. I always had to go home. Steaming. Unshowered. Angry. Sad. Pretty lonely. It, it, nothing makes you feel lonelier than being literally pushed out. Forbidden. You know, it's just like, it's the 21st century and stuff like this should not be happening anywhere on the planet. And anywhere else you go and do anything like this, you will get hammered by the people. Why is this happening in Japan? Why? I don't know. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna go put on my tattoo patches. These are my tattoo patches. Um, color variation, there we go. Yeah. Now, how do we put them on? It's literally unpeel, stick, put some water, peel off. Sounds easy, but when you have tattoos mostly on the back of your body, it's not. Anyway, I made this video because I was very angry and I really hope that this gets out to as many people as possible and I really hope that things are going to change one day. I know that some people are trying to change it, there are uh, th there are really nice gyms as well. Like, we've been to a rock climbing gym and it's called Rocky, it's in Ibaraki Prefecture and they literally told us we don't give a shit, <laughs> you know, like, like that, like they said we don't give a shit. I was like that's amazing, like, yeah. So anyway, uh, Hopefully things will change. I'm gonna go put on my patch and go to the gym. Kisses and hugs, you're truthfully, Violet the Sandra Moore.